So I just wanted to do a quick update on the infamous Cervelo S5. Now you remember I did a video a number of years ago where the impact at the head tube with this uh, hard metal corner to basically control the like limit the travel of the steering. So that would impact the frame and cause damage to the frame, basically delaminate the head tube from the inside. Anyway, there was a video on that, quite a few people saw it, um, and it was a bit controversial at the time. And, uh, you know, Cervelo contacted me, or well, some of the dealers contacted me at the time and said, no, no, we've never seen a problem with that. And But, yeah, anyway, I've seen quite a few of those. Um, but they've changed it, so which is, I'm curious why, if it wasn't a problem, why you change it, but hey, they've changed it, and uh, it's a completely new design, um, I'll, and I'll show you some pics of that, and I'll, uh, I'll run through some of the new design. So here you can see the new design, and so this is from the underside of the head tube, sort of the lower bearing, and you can see this aluminium plate here, which is... It's about four millimetres thick, and it appears to be um, co-moulded into the head tube of, of of the frame. So it's it's really it's really there for good. Like it's not going to go anywhere. It's it's a very solid um, attachment into the frame. Probably adds a little bit of weight, um, but it's better than your head tube snapping off. Um, so here's sort of a different a different angle of it. So these sort of little cutouts here um, is where the, um, on the on the fork it's basically got a a, a rod which is um, sort of it's a, a through rod which is bolted through, which I'll show you I'll show you a bit down the track where that goes. Um, but that that rod is also replaceable. Uh, now this one was involved in a in a crash, and you can see you can see here how the the aluminium plate has been deformed. So it was a significant crash. You can see also here there's some some damage to the uh, to the head tube of the frame. But unlike the old design, which would basically punch a hole through the side of the, uh, the head tube, sort of you know, in, in this area here through that sort of metal cam. Um, this metal plate absorbs all the impact as well as that that rod on the on the fork when that rod is replaceable you know this obviously this metal plate's not replaceable but um you know you can you could possibly clean that up a little bit and um yeah and and, and, and it be uh, can you continue to use the bike safely so this is the old fork which that that rod was um, was bonded in, um, but the new one it's threaded in, and so it's a completely different sort of design on on the fork as well. Um, so the old fork, that top piece here was was bolted through, and then so this one's a one piece a one piece molding. So um, and it yeah, attaches the, you know, the handlebar and, and stem, etc. cetera, um, attaches to those plates on the top. So as you can see, it's significantly different, um, less likely to result in damage to the carbon. So in a, in a, in a crash, you can, you can damage the metal, as, as, as we saw, the, the metal plate, um, but unlikely to damage the carbon. So, um, much better job from Cervelo in that uh, in that redesign. Um, again, not sure why they redesigned it when it wasn't a problem according to them. But you know they've they've made the change. They've improved the design. It's much better, much more damage tolerant. Good job all around. Um, yeah, it's an improvement. So uh, anyway, I'll leave it at that, and uh, I'll see you next time around. Okay, all the best. Bye.